Okay, so hey, 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 train your plants every day. A1 coming at you from the STEM lab. Uh, that is the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics lab using the STEM and millennium math problems. A, an abruptly long sequence of reciprocating terms with differences between terms. Uh, Beals AX plus BX equals CX principles. Fermat's last theorem AX plus BY equals CZ principles. Um, Yings Mills mass gaps, spectrums and yields, depending on how you want to do things in universal theories or positioning of students in a college setting, dorm room, college classes, what what treatments, what feedings they need. Um, so again anyways, we got an eighty five day uh mainline power crop super queen. Look at that, she is beautiful. Look at that rib cage right there. A backbone right off of the main of that plant. Grown, grown like this. This is an indica. She's going to be the same thing, except for she's going to be even tighter. Uh, I messed up a few things in the bonsai. See, there's small tubes in there. I'm missing a few on the side. Some growth phase. Um, this main isn't the same thickness as that one because I had a late start on it at night did them different but you can stretch them out you can equal them out there's a lot of ways to ax by cz this function considering that this is a four by four tent um i'm using leds which really kind of have an 18 to 12 inch uh light range anyways i'm in the 12 inch range right now um thereabouts about 12 inches close to it. That's probably more like 9 inches, 10 inches, 11, 12. Um, so that keeps me all inside my light range where I need to be for these plants. Um, this is just at the point where it's growing up. These I'm going to lay down and do. Um, I can still raise up this lake canopy a little bit as these are growing out. Um, because this is a mainline power crop super queen, you gotta believe me, the number of clones you can make off of this thing are stupid ridiculous. Um, I chose this technique again for light range, this is all personal use for me, this is turn it down, shut it down, but you're looking for a two, uh, two turn harvest. I don't know my, no my yield numbers yet for this grow setup, um, square footage wise, or to improve that what I'm looking for, this is my first round at this for this setup. Um, but essentially, there are four clones in here off of Sativa. One, two, three, and I do believe this one. I think it's this one. Um, they were the four clones. Two off the bottom. The very first two, you'll get off one, two, three, four. Or excuse me, you'll get four of them right there. That's what these four are. If they're not those, they're something real close to the bottom like that. Very very early growth one two we're talking about that node right there and that node right there this node right there this node right there we, we want those clones when you do that by mainlining a very small plant like this and working inside the light range the reason again you want to do this is you want to develop a very fast cloning method I suggest a germinator with a flat bot with a warmer on the bottom turn these things in two weeks. So that'll put you at about a month and two weeks. This plant is going to start to dome off. If you have another one, I had a mother plant in here of an indica, she's going to be looking about the same size range in that two month range. Big pot territory here. Uh, one in the middle, two in the middle like this, two or three in the back, two in the three in the back like this. You got to make the choices of the healthiest, strongest, best structures. Um, that'll work. Um, again, these are clones, so you got a five structure. I got to stake her down to open her up. I got another five structure sativa. So she's going to start going, and when she does, I'll lay her all out. It'll essentially do the same thing as this inside the same light range at the same canopy level. As this is all growing, I can clop these down, turn these up. This one's just at that phase where I only got a little bit, a couple more weeks where these got to go and then I let it turn all up um, into that three three I wanted I wanted it at three months 90 days 
and then be able to let them turn up for two or three weeks. That's where you want to be. These need to be better structured. This needs to be a little tighter so you can get better structure in here. They'll fold out and then open it all up so it takes up the massive amount of canopy. Let it grow up a few nodes so this is all going to flower real good at the same level and then go. Now again because I chose to take out one big mother plant and go structure with this sativa instead. <coughs> I chose to take the original clone base for me which again you want to tighten that down. You want this to be set up at about two, two and a half months so this is where you would be in three months with your mother and everything else inside your box. You might have to prop some stuff up, so you might have to figure that out. Uh, and then I'm going to let this all come up, and we're going to flip the lights on it. So that is the nature of the swag, the wave of swag green. <clears throat> Working a mother plant, or a very small clone, a couple of them, to turn this around and fill this in as quickly as possible. Now, if you wanted to, this, it, this is hard because it's more set up for illegal outdoor operations or for yield setups. You want to do this for yields and turnovers and things like that. Make sure you have a clone at handy that's ready that's not going to mess up your top canopy. Um, this is also made for re-vegging. Turn this over, get these structures re-vegged, drop it back down a couple of months or a couple of weeks throw those right back on the lights you'll feel your grow spot in um, a little tighter than you did before that level will be there turn it over try to do that you're doing it like this from seed you're looking for two harvests a year figure out what your yield ratio is half pound pound do I have to let it grow up for that pound or how long is that a couple extra weeks uh, you know, if you're doing it like that as well, you know, get your turn for the year out of the way. And then throw this in there for spring. Do your corn, your, your whatever, your sorghum, blueberry bushes. Get them set up for spring. You take them outside. You have all this grow lab set up for it. Um, so, yeah, that is the wave of swag green on mainline bonsai power crop. Um, now, if you know closet grows and single pole colas, um, just in, I mean, in one of my videos, where I, after I did a reveg or a defoliating on this, you know, I pulled 30 clones. You get a big turn at two months, at, at a, like a month and a half, two months. You get, you know, you're getting from that first original four, it's turning over to eight, um, twice, and then you know you'll do it once, and then you let it grow a couple of days, knock it back again because all of that growth in there gets crazy and then you're going to turn you know when you creep onto this 30 day you're going to hit like 30 of them right there and then I just did it again a little while ago and I must have pulled another 10 20 of them off of it um for me that just goes in here you know I've been tagged before so I keep it in the box nowadays personal grow yo um figure out your numbers you know there's a lot of degrees and spectrums happening in here uh, humidity, you mean, you gotta have it all. Uh, really take care of them, they're worth it. And like I said, train your plants every day. This is physics, this is botany, this is psychology. A lot of my home life, a lot of the space, the way they affect in the same way, K states, N states, mathematics. Uh, you know, that stuff's out there for you if you're willing to do it or understand it. Understand and make the moves with it in coordination with it. Uh, believe me, there is law up in this jungle right here. This is the box right here. I mean, look at this girl. You tell me I ain't telling her how to do things. Uh, I I get those moves. You know, it, I've been arrested before. <laughs> Same time, I respect it. But come on. I mean, when you can do this, you should. Woo-wee. That is a trophy plant. This is going to ring up again, three in the middle. I'm going to let these beasties get real tall. Cop that secondary ring down for another couple of, you know, just let this come up for two weeks.
pound this down once, let it go for a week, recover. Well, this is all going out, and this is all going maybe three, depending on what it is, and then turn it. Um, I want to see what I can do with these girls. And they're going to be small. I missed the window, but I can I can only push this up so much before this is going to get so tall on me that I can't do anything with it or be knocking down top colas. I don't want to be pushing them back down to something like this when what I'm looking for is beasties like this or what they will be when I'm done with them. Right off the base main, some beastie pipes. Chopped on them a couple of times, had to knock them down a few times. Like I said, you'll get two or three clones off of that, two or three off of this. That stuff will go great for reveg. You want to leave some of that safety material while trimming this stuff anyways um, to you really sure where it all, all it is um, you do you do lose a little you do lose a little yield out of this but you're transferring it over to top bud cola growth if you make the turn and pop them up and make them straight and strong you're right in there for great conditions you're separated all out you're wired down this is gonna spring up this is gonna spring up let them go a little ways let them flower pick up your lights so this all stays in that 18 inch range figure out what the veg growth is before you turn the light catch you on the next one